and the four-time indoor champion, the Super Trooper, Tommy Martin, had the list of supercharged racing gamblers. Rolling the dice down by the riverside. This is Truxton Tractor Power, featuring the all-stars of the four-wheel and off-road Jamboree Quad Cities Nationals. Welcome to Trucks and Tractor Power on the Nashville Network. Today we bring you the four-wheel and off-road Jamboree Quad Cities Nationals from the Mississippi Valley Fairgrounds in Davenport, Iowa. Of course, here on the banks of the Mississippi, riverboat gambling is one of the big attractions. And today we feature some dice rolling racers in their own right. It's the wide open thrills of side-by-side -side open, unlimited mud racing. Hi everybody, I'm Gary Lee. Anytime you line up supercharged or nitrous injected race cars in a super slick mud track, you're in for a crapshoot. And one of the guys hoping to cash in on the big jackpot today is standing by with Army Armstrong. Gary, you're exactly right. We're down in a pit area with a man that is taking a big gamble. The man's name is Tom Martin. The gamble, four-time world champion Martin decides to come outdoors, but he's found some parallels. The parallel, the indoor and the outdoor happens to be a piece of concrete. Tell me about that concrete wall out there. It seems to have you guys spooked today. Well, I thought we'd get away from concrete coming outdoors, but this left lane out here is real close uh, down at the end. You don't want to turn left. You hit concrete if you turn left, and if you turn right, you hit the other racer. So it's going to be exciting today. Gary, it's kind of interesting, you know, it seems like Lady Luck is going to play a role today. We're in Davenport, it's going to be a toss of the dice. They're stepping to the tables right now. Back to you. So the battle cries to keep it off the concrete as we go gambling here in Davenport. Coming up, stay with us. Welcome back. I'm Gary Lee along with Army Armstrong. Today we're in Davenport, Iowa, where four trucks present the Penda four-wheel and off-road Jamboree Quad Cities Nationals, a part of the BF Goodrich Performance Series. An Army today is side-by-side -side mud racing competition with a Class 6 Open Unlimited. That's exactly what we're going to be seeing. Some of the vehicles will run superchargers, some will be nitrous assisted. What we're saying, it's a old Southern style run with your brook. 180-foot track, but Gary, Running against the clock, the guy in the lane next to you has nothing to do with you. you got one shot. It's, a, it's ironic we've been in Davenport, the city of gamblers, on a gambling one-run only deal. These guys have come all over the country to take a shot, hopefully quicker than three seconds. Dan Brown, the top gun against Tommy Gelder and Terminator. We saw Tommy a couple of years ago in Panama City. Drove a car called the Tomcat. This is a brand new creation the Terminator up against that concrete wall that all these drivers are so concerned with. Now, Tommy has pulled his resources with another Southern Mud Racer, Gene Johnson, for this vehicle. This is the first time the Terminator has ever made a shot. Oh, that's a good one, Gary. Excellent ride for the Terminator. Let's check the time. It's a good one. Sub three seconds, 2.94. 2.94 for Tom Gelder. Dan Brown uh, not happy with his run. Brown had trouble about half range. Why right did here? He gets in trouble and gets out of the throttle. He hooked on him just a little bit. But good run out of the other way. Excellent ride for a brand new vehicle. Let's go trackside and Army Armstrong. Gary, we got a guy grinning from ear to ear. Under three seconds with a new vehicle. Congratulations. Thank you, Army. It felt good. It just started picking up about mid track. It started lifting and going. It felt real good. There is a look at the green dragonfly out of Wisconsin, Tad Horvath. Dragonfly up against uh, the intruder. The intruder with Tom Marsh. We've seen Marsh a number of times out of Vandalia, Ohio, a suburb of Dayton. You know, you know Marsh. You, the guy almost needs to be a professional basketball player. He's about 6'7", tall, lanky old boy. But I tell you what, you wrap him in a Simpson safety suit and put a roll cage around him, and he can run with anybody. He's up against the concrete wall, up against the clock up against the Dragonfly. Already the first shot of the day was under three seconds. Now in this sport, that three second time is the magic time. Does anybody else do it? Oh, look at Marsh. Excellent ride for Tom Marsh and the intruder. Let's check the time. Look at that, 2.87, 2.87. A new quick time for Tom Marsh and the intruder. Well, the Dragonfly, he's a player. He goes to 3.01, but Marsh is showing the track is going to be quick today. And he did it out of the lane. The drivers were spooked about the left lane. And again, look how close he is to the wall. Well, once again, let's go down trackside and talk to Tom Marsh. What a turn. 2-8. 2-8? Yeah. What we got? He hauled ass. 
excuse my language. <laughs> yeah. A 2845, congratulations. Now all the guys are coming after you. Well, all, I'm, all now I can do now, Army, is to sit back and hope for the best. You know, hope that uh, I was up here early. Hopefully now the track will slow down a little bit and, uh, you know, my time will stay good. That time, right. once again, was a 287 as the crew is ecstatic. And there's that tall, lanky guy as he climbs out. And we take a look at Silent Raid. Well, the supercharged is... Chevrolet engine, Gary, the engine sets to the front of the vehicle. Scott Lane will be doing a driving out of Spencer, Indiana. It's the first opportunity we've had to see this particular vehicle. And there is legal speed. That is Glenn Siebold. Siebold's been around the sport. I think since Moses was a mug racer. Seabold out of the south, and everybody knows this guy, and they know he will rock and roll you in a heartbeat. These look like uh, a set of twins staging here. Well, there is a difference. The vehicle close to us is powered by Chrysler. Seabold uses Chevrolet for horsepower, but neither one. Oh, Seabold just gets that concrete wall, and look at the suspension damage. He lost the front axle. All the fans have on their feet. And that was a concern these drivers had expressed. There's the time at 3.65. Let's take a look again. Now he gets in trouble at the very end of the run. Exactly. You have no margin of error right there. He is in trouble. Hooks a run. Bam. 48 inches at the most there. Just too close to that wall, in my opinion. Oh, and a costly, costly altercation. You can see some of the uh, suspension damage, a broken front axle. And the veteran from Georgia will have to tow that rig back down south back home and put it back together one more look at legal speed Seabold is a player he likes to go on the top end he made a real good strong run to right like you say once he hooked it he went around and just tagged the ball right there well Glenn was the 1991 NMRO national champion and of course a member of the two second club but he has some extensive front end damage to uh, work on takes the legal speed back to the paddock. We're going to take a break and come back with more from Davenport. And welcome back to Davenport, Iowa, where Ford trucks present the Penda four-wheel and off-road Jamboree Quad Cities Nationals, a part of the BF Goodrich Performance Series. These Jamborees offer a host of activities for the truck enthusiast as well as the entire family. And to find out when a Jamboree is coming to your area, call or write the Special Events Promotion Company. There is a look at the uh, Christmas tree at the starting line here in Davenport. Let's take a look now at the leaderboard. We have had some quick runs already. Tom Marsh at 287, the intruder. Tom Gilder at 294, and Ted Horvath at 301. The competition now continues with one of the uh, biggest names in uh, all of mud racing, the Tater, Ron Pence. Coming up next, there is the pensive look inside that racing helmet, and there is a look at Tater out of the state of Missouri. He goes up against the vehicle called the Equalizer. This is Mike Garrett. Mike Garrett is not new to the sport, but he is new to this engine combination. We understand this is one of the first times he's ever been behind a supercharged engine. Now, he's excited about running the engine, but he also knows a 287 is quick and right off to his right. He's the bad boy of the sport, the gentle giant of the sport, if you will. You know, he lets his right foot yeah, at the yeah, top. It's just amazing. He's one of the nicest guys in the world. The officials have just disqualified Ron Pence. He got out of his lane, and there is a 327. There is a 327 for Mike Garrett. Gary, the, the rule of thumb in this board is when you hit the straw, that's all. That's exactly what happened there. He goes on the trainer one shot, a long haul for nothing, but Pence was running his race. He was doing exactly what he wanted to do. He left when he wanted to. He took the shot. It didn't work for him. It didn't work. He also wiped out the timing light. One more look now at Tater, Ron Pence. One of the biggest names in this sport and right there. He gets in trouble, takes the straw, takes the uh, highway cone and the light. Let's get that talk now to Ron Pence. Well, Ron Pence, everybody was watching you, but it looked to me like you hooked some kind of a rut out there and just really didn't have a whole lot to control. Yeah, she just went sideways right off the line. It's hard to get it back going again. A man of few words, he lets the foot to the talking. Here's the marquee matchup of the entire afternoon. Tom Meets in Shake Me, and he pulls alongside Tom Martin and the 
Super Trooper, the four-time indoor champion. This should be a dance. If nothing else, they're going for bragging rights. It's going to be a drag race. Who's going to read the tree? Each one is the best in his area. Far lane, the best outdoor racer right now. They're laying the best indoor racer. What's going to happen? 180 feet left for the right now. the time for Tom Meeks. That's second fast so far at 289. But here's it. Oh, look at that at 270. Almost a fast time this afternoon for Tom Martin. Awesome run. Mark was pumped up. Watch him when he leave the start line. Wheels up. Both of them right on the nose. They're trying to power with the rear wheels. That has to be one of the all-time best side-by-side fun -side races ever in the history of mankind throughout the world. That was neat, Gary Lee. And look at the mud on the visor. Oh, now he can see something. Wow, look at there. Yeah, but watch him saw that steering wheel, Gary Lee. He was working. Two of the biggest stars of this type of motorsport. Let's go down and talk right now to Tom Martin. Tom, a 2702. That puts you quick of the day. I had to be one of the fastest mud races ever. Yeah, I'll tell you, it was a quick run. You know, the track's really rough out there, and I'm super proud of this Van Sena's horsepower. That's what's getting us there. Yeah, but it's Tom Martin in the cockpit who's getting the horsepower hooked up to this racetrack. And there's the baby blue. Chemical reaction. This is Steve Fairman out of the uh, one Ring state of Michigan. And he pulled alongside Matt Osmondball in no surrender. It's Ford against Chevrolet. That's no surrender with a Ford. Chemical reaction has the Chevrolet. You know, but Gary, both of them rely on the Ford body. for the Ford and a 284 for the Chevrolet power. 284, so that'll show up well on the leaderboard. Let's take a look again. It's the left-hand lane with the Chevy power. The 27 Roadster takes the victory. And once again, let's go track side. Here's Steve Behrman. You're going to be tickled with this time a 284. Hey, that's, that's a, a rocket ride for you. Felt good. I don't, I don't, yeah, it just felt good. Looked like I was going towards the lights, but I figured I couldn't do more damage than anybody else has done to them, so I just stayed on it. <laughs> That's what you do. Try hammer down and keep her as straight as possible. Well, Ben Medina's going to be coming out now from Colorado. He's a real nice guy in the sport. Takes his family with him everywhere he goes. Relies on the building horsepower to really get this Jeep down the track. Now, in the other lane, it'll be showtime. We've had a chance to see Ken from before. He's out of Kansas City. So either of these guys can be major players in all the action before the day's over today, Gary Lee. Time to be once again at 272, different schools of thought. Front engine with the uh, Pro Jeep fiberglass body and the rear engine configuration for Showtime. Ben in trouble, a violent crash through the barrier. Up against the concrete, he is in the cockpit. We see some movement. Reaches down to uh, apparently a buckle his shoulder harness or telling yeah, him just to stay where very, he is. Very, very slow though and getting unbuckled. The safety crew right there. Another driver on the scene as well. That was a driver's showtime. That's Ken Crumb who climbed out of the uh, rear engine dragster and ran over there. The fans were on their feet. And working gingerly in the cockpit. A violent crash. He got out of shape after he went through the timing lights. You know, now the safety crew here, they're a good safety crew. He's in good hands. A replay comes up. If you'll notice, I don't believe he ever corrects. Watch the wheels. He never turns back to the right. Hey, into the JoJo blocks. Now, they did their job. They're the water barriers. They're trying to develop four highway safety and racing safety. They did their job. The car disintegrated. There's a look at Ben. He is out of the car. Walked gently out over to the ambulance. Some speculation that may have been hit in the face with some mud or a walk. Well, he's right being here. assisted by the A1 Speedway Safety and the Fire people. These people know what they're doing. Concerned by his family members, we can understand that. But believe me, he is in the best possible hands he can be in right now. These people are good at what they do. The replay is going to come up on the screen, Gary. And I tell you, I don't. I think he was hit in the face with something because I don't see him make a move at all to correct that vehicle. He does not ever turn back to the right. He clips the last couple of barriers with that left front. That flips the car over. The fiberglass body is tossed off. The front end is peeled away. The rear end is gone. Much like at the Indy car, all the parts come flying off. The driver climbs out and walks away. The time, incidentally, Medina was a 3:58. Crum a 3:36. There are the remains of the race car. We'll come back with more from Davenport. 
Welcome back to Davenport, Iowa, as we take a look at the barricade following a very serious altercation. We're at the Mississippi Valley Fairgrounds. Gary Lee, along with Harvey Armstrong, Ben Medina has just totally destroyed his racer. There is the uh, the rear axle differential, and let's take a look, Army, once again at what happens. Gary, I actually believe that he caught a clump of mud right in the face. You see, he's a good driver. He never made a move. Watch the front wheels. He never came to the right at all. He just drove into like a kamikaze, just driving it into the ground. Never had any idea what he hit. Well, of course, safety has long been a prime concern in this sport and other types of motorsport. Let's go back trackside. Harvey, you have some observations. You're standing out with the wreckage. Gary, we're staying down the infield next to Ben Medina's car, and I want to show you this thing. I'm not trying to glorify an accident in any way, shape, or form, but I want to show you why it's important to follow the safety rules. I want you to notice the roll cage is in full contact. Every place the driver was sitting or around him was like a cocoon. The roll cage was built out of spec metal. It held up, no brakes, no bends or anything. The driver's compartment where the driver was sitting, the seat is fully attached. It didn't break away. The seat belts and everything, he's got a five-point seat belt. He's got one belt comes over each shoulder, one belt over each hip, and then a crotch strap kept the driver in good shape. The steering wheel didn't bend. It stayed together. The helmet stayed together for him, and all the safety equipment worked. But what we're trying to do is to show you, you know, we don't like to see accidents, that's, but that's a part of motorsport racing. When there is an accident, this is the way you need to come out of it. It's like a cocoon. The driver built the vehicle according to the safety specs. And that's why he can talk about it another day. Back to you, Gary. Thanks, Armour. Let's take a look now at the standings after that uh, violent crash. Tom Martin leads in the Super Trooper at 270, and Steve Behrman at 284 in chemical reaction, and Tom Marsh, the intruder, at 287. But we still have about four competitors to go. We have much more competition coming your way from Davenport, Iowa. And now we take a look at another Jeep Pro Stocker, Tony Holt, out of Columbus, Indiana, in Little Miss Dangerous. Pulling alongside the mud stun out of Michigan. This is Bob Hawk. Obviously, the driver is very, very aware. They, they watch, they see an accident like this happen. He plays in the psyche. Yeah, it plays in the psyche, but I tell you, it is also a mindset. If you're a racer, you know what to do is. Now it's time for the Done with a good time. Mud stud at 298, a sub three second run. And we look at Miss Dangerous at 340. So Tony Alt, Bob Monk, and Bob Monk are quick with the two, and the mud stud will take a look again. You're not going to intimidate this guy at all. Goes back in the same lane. The guy in front of him had all kind of trouble. He is sawing that wheel, working it back and forth. He goes under the magic three seconds. You can't spook this guy. Well, Army, we are ready for the final two competitors. They'll take the final shot at that 270 laid down by Tommy Martin in the Super Trooper. Off to the right in that white fiberglass deep. There's touch and go. That is Jim Rask out of Minnesota. And alongside in the blowing Chevy, this is Byron Tinky in bad habit. Now, Rask runs a nitrous oxide vehicle. Tinky in the lane close to us runs a supercharged vehicle. Neither of these guys really travel the whole national circuit. You notice the white coming out of the vehicle. He's purging the nitrous system in the far lane. Now, the Jeep in the far lane is a real strong runner in the northern states. But right now, he's picking all the bad boys all over the country. No, I don't think so. Let's wait for the official time, but it will not be fast enough. No, a 3.59, a 3.59 for Jim. And uh, Byron's time, we'll wait for that to come up, a 4.46 for uh, Byron Tinky and Mad Habit. So once again, our winner today will be Tom Martin and the Super Trooper, an amazing run at 270. Steve Behrman, second in chemical reaction at 284. And Tom Marsh, the intruder, takes third at 287. Well, once again, here's Army with our winner, Tom Martin. Well, Gary, Tom Martin laid down one of the best shots today that we've ever seen in, in a sport of side-by-side -side mud racing. A lot of people said would not be that exciting, but I think today you guys have made a lot of believers out of people that didn't think you guys could go side-by-side -side and go that fast. I'll tell you, this is the most excitement I've had in a long time. The side-by-side, it's a little more dangerous, but it sure is exciting. What about the win today? You win a lot of things. You won a lot of world championships, but you come and you run against these guys outdoors. How does it stack up against the indoor guys? Well, I think they stack up real good, you know. I've heard a lot of flack from everybody not running outdoors, and I really feel proud of my team getting me here, and uh, it takes a lot of good people behind you to get you somewhere like this. Congratulations. You did a great job. All right, thanks.
And I, too, offer my congratulations to Tom Martin Motorsports, the super trooper for the victory here at Davenport. Once again, Ben Medina is okay after that frightening crash. That is good news indeed. So that will wrap it up from the Affair Grounds here in Davenport, Iowa. For Army Armstrong, I'm Gary Lee. We'll see you next week for another edition of Truck and Tractor Power. Now here's news and an exciting video release from Diamond P Sports.